What's going on guys? This is JT here. I am over here on the iOS server on my man Omni's account. Take a look at that freaking my goodness gracious 486,259 might. That is absolutely ridiculous and he is currently the rank one player over here on iOS. This dude sent me a message online. He's like, hey JT bro, rank one player here. Do you, would you like to review my account? I'm like, what dude? Heck yeah, man. Anytime there's a top player's account like this, we got to take a review of it. I mean, it's not only fun to see how he goes about things, what talents he puts on heroes, what uh, augmenting talents he puts on all his heroes as well, but also just like what it takes to get 486,000 might. That's absolutely ridiculous. One thing we know is he doesn't have any blue or green heroes. That is for sure. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a, or not a quick, but I'm going to do an alter rundown. We're going to take a look at all his heroes, all his talents, and I'm going to make a separate video on uh take a look at his, his warehouse is gonna be crazy right i can only imagine i haven't even looked at it i've saved it for the video so i'm gonna make a separate video looking at his warehouse and also his armory so for now let's go ahead and start off and take a look at this altar now one thing to notice is he's probably gonna have a lot of heroes that uh, are worth a lot of might right and i believe Actually, I need to double check. I'm pretty sure um, still to this day, I know it used to be like this. If the hero runs fast, that means he's worth a lot of might. So the faster the hero runs, the more might he's worth. And back in the day, it used to be Ninja was worth the most might. And then it went to Skull Knight. And then it went to Ronin. And I'm not real sure if there's anything past Ronin or if Ronin is still the highest might. But anyway, let's go ahead and get in and see what we got. We'll go through every single hero. Now, we don't really need to go through the crest sets and um, the inscription levels. Because, I mean, I guess we could do this. Yeah, it kind of ruins what all heroes he's got on this account. So, yeah, I mean, every hero is going to be inscribed to 100. He has level 5, level 6 crest all over the place. No doubt about that. So, let's see. We got Stone Skin on the Pally. We got 8 War God on Spirit Mage. Let's go ahead and skip some of these noob heroes. All 10 of 10, all 12 of 12. Obviously, eight war gods everywhere. We got eight bulwark on Warlock, eight scatter on Candy Cane and Harpy Queen. Level eight war god on Beast Tamer, eight bulwark on Lady Leo. Let's see. We got eight bulwark on Heartbreaker. We got eight stone skin on Athene and a bulwark Athene. Not bad. We got eight stone skin on a Spirita. Very nice. Brute Force on Dove Keeper and a War God Dove Keeper. That looks like my two Dove Keepers. We got Stone Skin on Serena. That's what I like as a choice as well. The same with Storm Eater. We got Stone Skin on Storm Eater and Professor Ribbit. I don't know what the point of putting Stone Skin on Professor Ribbit is. The dude does hardly any damage anyway. So if you put Stone Skin on this bad boy, you're really going to be doing no damage. Here is Lavanica. So we got level 8 Flame Guard on his Lavanica with a level 6 Bulwark Crest Set. That is not bad. How? How good is Flame Guard on Levanica though? It wasn't really one of my top choices whenever I was thinking about what talent I was going to go with on Levanica. I'm not sure. I'm going to have to check that out. I mean, with him only being able to take in 10,000 damage, is it quite worth it? Or does it make it even better? I don't know. I'm going to have to take a look into that. We also have a level 8 Bulwark. So he has two double evolved Levanicas with a level 6 Flame Guard as a crest set on this one. Not bad, my good friend. Not bad at all. We got level 8 Bulwark on Ghoulam. We got Stone Skin Ghoulam also. We got an 8 Sprint Cupid, which I guess could be nice maybe for what? Like, what does he go with? Oh, no. Uh, no one can he has no crest. I was thinking maybe for dungeons, but not really. You don't really want Sprint on Cupid for dungeons. I guess he can get to each arrow t tower a little bit quicker, but that's not really that important. Maybe for Arena? I'm not sure. We also have a Slowdown Cupid for the Archdemon. We got... Scatter on Multanica, not bad. Got the level 8 new talent, Iron Will, along with the uh, Switcheroo for War God on Minnow. That's probably my favorite talent on Minnow now, Iron Will. It's absolutely beast, especially for dungeons and, and also guild wars, and that's mainly what you use Minnow for. We also have the level 8 Bulwark on the Dread Drake. Also, the level 8 Iron Will Dread Drake. I actually want to make, or I'm not, I don't want to. I'm going to make one of these Dread Drakes on my main account as well because this is going to be super good for especially Lost Battlefield where you, no matter what, your Dread Drake's not getting stunned, right? So you should be able to dish out the stun. I mean, that's really what Dread Drake's most important for, especially for Lost Battlefield, is to uh, dish out that initial stun. So let's see what else we got here. We got level 8 Slow down on Trixie Treat and a Bulwark Trixie Treat. We got a level 8 War God on Ares. We got a level 8 Stone Skin and Bulwark Demo. 
We got a level 8 stone skin and regenerate pumpkin duke along with a level 8 empower and revive pumpkin duke we got level 8 war god on skull knight with a level 5 corrode we also have level 8 brute force on skull knight we got level 8 deadly strike on skull knight we got quite a few skull knights here we got level 8 empower on skull knight we got level 8 sharp oh my gosh he has a massive amounts of skull knights level 8 war god another war god skull knight we got another stone skin skull knight we got level 8 war god on lil nick we got level 8 life drain and empower on Artica. What does he use that life drain for on Artica? He's got to be using this for something. Maybe not lava, right? What would, he, what would this be useful for? Because he's got two different level 8 talents. That's interesting. I'm not exactly sure. All right, we got level 8 slowdown on Valentina. He only has one Valentina. And it's level 8 slowdown. Let's open up the other talent. What do we got? And it's slowdown. Get out of here with that. That's crazy. He only has one Valentina. No, no Revitalize. Okay, there's the Revitalize in the back. We got level 8 Flame Guard on Medusa with the 5 Revitalize. We got level 8 slowdown on Santa Boom. We got Scatter on Phantom King and Zerk. Of course, I mean, those are his two best talents. The, uh, oh, he just has level 3 Revive on both of those. So we got level 8 War God on Mech Tessa. Ooh. Level 8 Iron Will on Anubis. That's interesting. I like it. What could that be used for? Wow, he's got a lot of damage coming out on this Anubis right at the start of fights. Maybe, I mean, this would be a pretty good dungeon hero. I mean, anytime you see Iron Will, that's going to be good for dungeons, right? Because the first 18 seconds of battle are really the only thing that matters in dungeons these days. Because if you don't make it, if you, if you, if you die before... I mean, what the heck am I even trying to say? For the first 18 seconds of battle, if you don't if you don't already know you're going to beat the dungeon, it's already over with, right? Within like the first 6 seconds. So, to be able to have him immune to everything plus all the extra attack at the start, that is pretty freaking huge. I like Iron Will for all dungeon heroes to be honest. I'm going to have eventually, I haven't done it yet, but I'm going to make an Iron Will on uh, I think 5 out of the 6 dungeon heroes that I'm going to use is going to have Iron Will. We also have a level 8 uh, stone skin and also flame guard Anubis. We got a level eight iron will on Ronin, which seems absolutely useless. This has to be a backup Ronin. You <laughs> you would not want iron will on Ronin. No way, no way. <laughs> There's no reason for it. He's already invisible for most of the time, right? So we got level eight flame guard on Ronin, which is useless as well. Stone skin's useless. All these talents are useless on Ronin. So he just has a ton of Ronins. A level eight sprint Ronin would be fun. To use, I mean that'd be that probably be pretty good for that uh, for that Ronin challenge that me, Poke, Bearded Ghost, and all of us were doing. No doubt about that. Sprint Ronin might not put out enough damage, but it definitely be fast. We got uh, level eight brute force. We have so many Ronins. War God brute force. We got Scorch. We got a, we even got Empower on Ronin. That's just ridiculous. We got a level eight War God Gunslinger and also a Stone Skin Gunslinger. Very nice. We got Bulwark on Grimfiend and Scatter Grimfiend. We got Bulwark on the Skelly plus also uh, Stone Skin Skelly as well. We got level eight Flame Guard on Rockno along with Stone Skin and War God Rockno. We got level eight Empower and War God on Walla. We also have Stone Skin and Regenerate on Walla. So pretty much any talent that Walla could possibly need, he's got on Walla. Not bad. We also got level 8 Revive on Trentar, which makes the most sense because you can just put the level 5 Revitalize on him with no big deal. We got level 8 Stone Skin on Michael with level 8... Oops, I don't want to change that on him. With the uh, level 8 Tenacity as well. We also have Blade Shell and Bulwark on Michael. We got Empower and Flame Guard on Creation 01. We got, ooh, Regenerate and Flame Guard on Sasquatch. I really like Regenerate on Sasquatch. I don't know if I like it as his main talent. Probably more so as a Crest set, but I do like Regenerate on Sasquatch. We got Level 8 Stone Skin with the Level 5 War Guide on the Sasquatch as well. And then we are back to the Pally. So, not bad. I mean... How about it all? The first, the first part of this account kind of reminds me like of exactly of my account. Open it up, it's like, whoops, a couple... Oh, actually, you know what? I consumed my other two ninjas. But I do have one of all these shard trash heroes and everything else. I mean, if he wanted to boost his might a little more, honestly, with just in the altar, I see a lot of room to be able to do so. You know what I mean? Delete some of these trash legends that 
he absolutely doesn't need and turn them into uh, more Ronins or Skull Knights. But I don't like the I don't like the whole idea of getting you know what I mean six, seven, eight, even nine or yeah eight I guess most of one hero on the same account just because I mean is there really a need for that you know what I mean? But if you're wanting to compete for um, the top, what uh, probably top five might on any server. I mean, you're gonna have to do whatever it takes to get the most might, right? You can't just have the most might and not uh, go all out um, in the ways that give you the most might. I mean, that'd be kind of dumb. So yeah, I mean, I suppose. Uh, how long has this video been? Yeah, it's got to be at least over six, seven minutes. We'll make another video on the rest. Is there anything else I want to look at on this account during this video? I don't think so. I mean. I want to look at uh, just his warehouse and armory, right? I guess we could take a look at his pet shop on this video. Yeah, let's take a look at all his pets. I mean, all these pets got to be maxed with like a ton of pets. We got 179, 995, 600, 700 glacies already. Some of these pets aren't even maxed quite yet, which is actually kind of surprising, especially that little Havoc. You know what that tells me is he might have made most of his purchases within the last couple of months or at least majority of them without uh, some of those other pets being maxed anyway guys hope y'all enjoyed the video also make sure to check out his youtube page especially if you are a german player he is a german player as well i'm gonna leave a link to his youtube video in the description below i also have a video that uh, i had him make for me to post at the end of this video and i'm going to play that now but for now guys i am out of here peace out Hallo zusammen auch von meiner Seite aus an die deutschen Zuschauer von JT. Also ich bin der Omni, mache ebenfalls YouTube und deshalb hat mir der JT die Möglichkeit ge gegeben, eine Minute ein Shoutout an meinen Kanal im Prinzip zu machen. Und ja, was mache ich? Ich mache täglich einen Stream sozusagen oder ein Video, bringe über diesen Account immer ein Video oder ein Stream mit vielen anderen Leuten, zum Beispiel auch CC Friends oder m Phaser und allen, also die ganzen deutschen YouTuber aus der deutschen Szene hier. Und im Prinzip will ich die iOS Deutschland Szene wieder erwecken und indem ich im Prinzip fast täglich ein Video bringe für euch. Also es würde mich mega freuen, wenn ihr vielleicht mir ein Abo da lässt und meine Videos anschaut. Und ja, ebenfalls viel Spaß mit dem nächsten Video von JT und ja, haut rein, schönen Tag, ciao.